Hello and welcome to another learning session from Penny Stock Analysis. It's great to have you here. So let's get started on today's learning session. Today and along the same lines as our last uh, you video, uh, today we are going to learn about a ratio. And today's ratio is the debt to equity ratio. So as opposed to looking more on the earnings uh, side of things, today we're going to look at more fundamental analysis, some more long-term looking uh, ratios and uh, with that we're looking today at the debt to equity ratio. The great thing about the debt to equity ratio is that it is very commonly used and on most of the websites that uh, show any type of stock analysis tools, charts and whatnot, uh, the debt to equity ratio is usually already uh, constructed and figured out for you. Uh, on the other hand that you have to figure it out let's say from in financial statements, then here's the reason you want to do it. What you're trying to come up with is a picture of how much of the company's operations are financed by debt, whether it's bonds, long-term debts, promissory notes, and so forth, or is it financed by equity? In other words, money put into the company, whether it's by partners, shareholders that bought stock on the exchange, initial public offerings, and so forth. And so the equation is pretty simple to figure out. It's basically total liabilities, which is basically all liabilities that you own and this is uh, divided into the shareholder equity and that number will give you a ratio it could be 0 0.62 it could be 3.5 it all depends on the type of industry you're in and that will have uh, more typified or typical uh, results and you'll see why just using a simple example of how figuring out this ratio would look like. We're going to already give you the variables involved. So we have the total liabilities, which here is, uh, let's say, $100 million. And let's say the shareholder equity is $200 million. So as in the previous slide, the equation is total liabilities divided by shareholder equity. So in this case, the debt to equity example has $100 million divided by $200 million and we get a ratio of 50. In other words, half the company's operations are, uh, f there's half as much debt that's financing the operation than there is equity. And so this number is significant in a couple of ways which we are about to discuss. Up to this point, we can see that the debt to equity ratio is a simple ratio to uh, figure out. Uh, it's not complicated, however, it does uh, provide a little bit of insight and a much needed uh, benchmark when you are analyzing certain companies in certain industries. And that's what this slide is all about. It's about helping you focus your energy when you're using the debt to equity uh, ratio. So the first thing to consider is that the ratio should be considered high or low only when it's compared to other companies in the industry and the industry average. So in other words, the example that we just showed, let's say 0 0.5 debt to equity ratio, that may be the typical industry average for uh, perhaps a retailer or a tech uh, company that uh, is web-based. Uh, but let's say the in the example we had a company that had a debt to equity ratio of let's say 2.0 that's three times more than the industry average so you have to ask yourself either they're not making money within the industry or it's generating a new way we have to figure out why it's at 2.0 and why it's higher another thing is is the company earning more return on their money than the cost of servicing the debt a company can't just uh, take on debt, it has to pay interest on that debt, whether it's to bondholders, loans to banks, real estate investments, whatever the case is, they have to pay interest on this debt. And the only reason a company really should take on debt is if they plan to make a lot more money to uh, with the company. So that's another thing to watch out for. Why is this ratio going up or down and is it serving the company well? Is the company growing? And that's essentially what it comes down to is this ratio is a catch-all uh, ratio to help you determine if the company is 
uh, growing by obtaining debt financing or equity financing. You know, in certain cases, things like building cars, they require a huge factory to be built first. So it's not uncommon to see their debt to equity ratios uh, in the 2.0 range or 3.0, which is three times your shareholder equity. But that's what's required to make that industry work. On the other hand, you have other things that are low cost. You know, a lot of web-based uh, services and companies will have a low debt to equity. So it's all about comparing to other companies and seeing if this debt is being used in a good way and uh, if there is a return on the money. And if there is, then that means the company's growing and they have nothing to worry about. So with that, it brings this uh, learning uh, video to a close. We now uh, have learned in the previous video about the earnings per share and the price to earnings ratio, which are a way to determine the growth of the earnings of a company. And now we are looking at a way, a very broad-based ratio, the debt to equity ratio, of determining how a company is financing its operations, whether it's debt or it's equity. And this will go a long way in helping uh, you uh, determine actually a balance sheet of the company and if in fact their growth uh, is earning is coming from great returns on their uh, financing operations so with that stay tuned for another penny stock analysis session coming up soon and invest wisely